So next up, we have uh, a fascinating presentation. Uh, we're going to have Kunal Jaswani, who is the Chief Digital Officer of Ogilvy India, interviewing Ronitra Mitra, who is the Senior Vice President of Brand Communications and Insights from Vodafone India and responsible for the Zuzus, whom you will meet in just a moment. So please come up, uh, Kunal and Ronitra. A round of applause. <laughs> All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, before we start, I just want to thank two people. Um, one, whoever's managing the air conditioning. It's fabulous now. We were freezing in the morning, but it's much, much better. So thank you. Um, and second, you know, we're going to talk about content and social media and creativity and the stuff that's happening on Vodafone in India. And I just want to thank someone in this room right now who's creating content on the go. Uh, there's an artist there sitting in the corner working on some beautiful sketch posts uh, for every session. And I think it's an outstanding example of great creative content being created on the fly. Right? So uh, thank you for that. Really good stuff. Right? So on to today's presentation, um, I have with me Ronita. Uh, Ronita heads um, brand and consumer insights for Vodafone in India. And Vodafone produces some of the most outstanding creative work uh, in the social space um, in India. Right? It's also one of the most loved uh, and most respected brands in the country. Um, and I'm going to let Ronita take you through a bit of the journey on Vodafone so you get a sense of what's happening there. Right? Um, to start with, um, Ronita, could you describe Vodafone's social footprint in India, the platforms you're on, um, and you know, the kind of scale you've achieved on each of those platforms? Um, so we're quite active on social media, and it's an integral part of our uh, overall communication plan. Uh, so we are active on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, so the entire spectrum. But I would also say that the three platforms that form the bedrock of our social media activities are uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. And uh, we are actually, I'm ha also happy to say that we are number one on all three of them in India. So we have the highest number of fans on Facebook in India with 19.2 million fans as we speak today and growing every day. Um, we have around 200,000 followers on Twitter who actively engage with us. Um, and we have around 300,000 subscribers on YouTube, giving us around 50 million views. Uh, so on all the three platforms, we are number one. Um, on engagement two, uh, we are not only one of the highest brands in India, but we are the highest in telecom across the world. Wow. Um, okay. And what we use, uh, and actually the, the, the formula that we use for engagement is slightly different from what a social baker uses, uh, because we place a lot of premium on shareability. So while you know, we, we kind of assume that likes and comments will come from fans, if they're engaged with you, then those will come. But the true test is, the true test of engagement is whether they are willing to share your content wow. uh, with their community. So that is what we really track very closely, uh, the shareability of content. All right, so large brand presence across platforms, one of the largest in social across um, India. Um, what would you say is the role of social media in your marketing mix, right? How does it tie into your brand objectives and ambitions? Um, so I would say that social media as well as digital, uh, not just social media, but uh, digital overall, uh, plays a very integral role for our entire, not just communication plan, but um, overall. Uh, so it plays a role, f uh, okay, as far as, uh, on one hand, as far as campaigns are concerned, um, you know, we don't treat social media or digital as just an add-on initiative, and after we have planned the rest of our um, media mix is where digital comes in. No, it is very much a core part of the entire marketing mix planning. Um, and in fact, you know, we treat YouTube as a very important television channel. So in India, uh, communication is still very, very driven by television uh, and outdoors and print and on-ground activation. Uh, however, we tend to use YouTube as one of the core channels uh, competing with, uh, with other channels of television. You know? So while we have our television planning, YouTube actually features as one of the channels on which we, we invest uh, large amounts of money. Uh, we also use uh, social media for the entire spectrum from driving consumer engagement to online grievance management on a regular basis to driving business. 
Wow, okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about content, right? There's, there's a character up there on the screen. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's, it's called a Zuzu, right? It's very, very popular in India. It's, uh, they, they call the Vodafone Zuzus. Um, and I'm going to ask Ronita to just give you a little background on that character, um, when it was developed, how much it's being used, and what it means to the Vodafone brand. Right, so the Zuzus were actually created in 2009, and you know, so the first year that the Zuzus were used in a campaign uh, and were launched, within seven days of launch, they had created a rage uh, in India, and uh, they really loved. Um, so while we have uh, other campaigns throughout the year, uh, Vodafone participates in IPL quite actively. Uh, IPL is this uh, cricket league that uh, takes place uh, during the months of April, May, and the entire cricket, is, the entire country is glued to, uh, the, to, to the television and following uh, IPL, because India, in any case, is a cricket-crazy country. Um, during IPL, we actually develop campaigns, given the format that IPL is, which allows us to communicate multiplicity of messaging, you know, so multiple propositions. So these Zuzus are characters which are, you know, they've been, they have, they're fictional characters which have been created. They're these egghead shaped uh, create, uh, creatures uh, from an alien world. They come from a very innocent, happy world. And we use them on television uh, to create, to, you, you know, to communicate multiplicity of messaging. So what I'll do is, before we talk about how we have leveraged um, Zuzus which are so loved on television and how we have actually leveraged that the, the love that consumers have for Zuzu on social media. Let me just take you through how we use Zuzu on our, in our TV campaigns, uh, just to give you a context and a background on Zuzus. Can I have the first video, please? Okay, can I, play, can I have the second video too? Played for you over here are just two ads from the last season of IPL, but we typically run around, you know, anywhere between 10 to 12 uh, ads in that campaign during the IPL season. And the consumers just love these characters. They just wait for the Zuzus to come back. So, you know, there's a lot of conversation around how the Zuzus are back and consumers are really looking forward to which is going to be that next proposition and next ad from the Zuzus. So uh, just to give the audience a sense, over the last five to six years, how many Vodafone Zuzus TV commercials would you have made? Ah, so in 2009, there were 25. 2010, again, there were 25. So if I take about take six years, we've, we've made around 100 ads of Zuzu so far. So over 100 TV commercials, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And they run for how long on television every year? So they, are, they run for six weeks. And six that's weeks. the only okay. time that they're there on television. All right, so you have a, you have a fantastic brand property about 100 films created over the last five years, running for about six weeks a year. Um, what do you do for the balance 46 weeks? How do you keep engagement up and get people engaged with the Zuzus? So what we have done is, uh, you know, when we decided to get into social media, we thought that the Zuzus are such, a, such an extremely loved character. Why don't we leverage the Zuzus to engage with the consumers? Because, um, you know, the, the way they look forward to the Zuzus coming back every year during the month of April, uh, it just gave us a huge, a, a, a brilliant icon to actually leverage through the rest of the year. So we use the Zuzus to communicate and converse and engage with consumers through the rest of the year. They're present on air only for six weeks, but through the other, uh, you know, the, the balanced 300 days, uh, we are engaging with consumers using the Zuzus with, with conversations that are relevant to them. And, and, and that's how the Zuzus are kept alive. Um, 
you know, they, they, consumers love talking to them, consumers love engaging with them, and uh, they, they help uh, in uh, driving engagement for Facebook. Fabulous. Do you, want, do you want to show the group some of the work you're doing with the Zuzus on right. Facebook? Yeah. So the way we use the Zuzus on Facebook is uh, at different levels. Uh, we use them for, you know, topicality of conversations. So what we do is get into really the popular culture of consumers and get into conversations with consumers with what is relevant to them, what's happening in their lives. So this is an example. You know, what, what do consumers go through? They have this so uh, they have this they have their monday morning blues weekday versus weekend you know other engaging posts so these are very they, they're just woven into the popular culture of and the popular fabric of what matters to a consumer okay and we we get in get under under the skin of the consumer and use azuzus to talk to them in that language so if you see how they've been used these are some examples of posts typically we have around one post a day sometimes when we have very large campaigns we might have two to three posts a day but that's about it so we do not over engage with the consumer this is it and then you know the, the conversations take over on uh, Facebook so these are some examples of uh, some very very topical posts with you know what is important for consumers that's another example where we use events you know so it could be an Independence Day the first post you see is Independence Day with with the language in Hindi uh, salute my motherland that's what's written uh, then we have Holi, which is a festival where, you know, you, you splash colors. It's a very popular festival in India. It's a rather wild festival, splashing colors and water on each other. Uh, so that's another example, a Valentine's Day, a Mother's Day. And there are a number of such festivals and, you know, days and events that are earmarked and there are Zuzu posts on all such days. So uh, that's the topicality of posts. Uh, what we also do is, um, you know, whenever there is a milestone that we achieve on Facebook, since the consumers have played such an important role, we acknowledge that and we celebrate that with the consumers. So I'll give you an example of when we reach the 10 million fan milestone, it wouldn't have happened without the fans, so we celebrated it uh, with the fans. Uh, we had these, uh, a number of videos, which were, uh, you know, customized videos, uh, which a fan could actually on Facebook could choose to play with, uh, play for himself and then share that, like that, and share that and pass that on uh, to his community. So can I ask for the third video? I'll just take you through a video of the 10 million uh, celebration. videos that were created, individual ones. Okay, so um, you're the most loved brand on social in India. You've got the most fans and followers, right? Uh, and almost everything that's been done so far has been to drive engagement and brand love, right? Uh, but a lot of the conversation now moves to, you know, so how does this impact business, right? Where's the ROI on it? What are you doing to drive business, right? Um, so is there anything you can tell them about uh, the kind of work that you're doing to drive business? Oh, yeah, completely. And, then, and that's really the way forward and that's the new area of focus. Um, so I think the Zuzus were really uh, lapped up by consumers on, on Facebook and it's amazing how, you know, they keep the interest alive on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we also use the Zuzus for any brand campaign, you know, so if there is a television campaign, then we amplify that through the Zuzus on Facebook. 
But as Kunal mentioned, the new area of focus is driving business. And uh, we are using Facebook and Twitter actively now to drive business. And that, that really is our, our uh, way forward. So here's an example. Uh, so I'll give you an example of how, uh, sorry, before we move to uh, Kunal, before sure, I, I just that. forgot to mention this one. Before we move to the business, this is just another example of, uh, you know, how we engaged with the, uh, how we engage with the consumers. We create experiences on Facebook for them. So for example, when uh, IPL happens, uh, we have this, uh, you know, there's, there's this camera from uh, South Africa, which is, uh, which is which captures a 360 degree panoramic view of the entire stadium that then gets uploaded on uh, Facebook and whoever has visited the stadium can then actually you know identify access that video on Facebook and tag themselves in the stadium and then share it with their friends you know so it's a huge moment of wow for everyone and a huge moment of uh, pride for people who have been in the stadium um, now, coming to uh, the point that Kunal mentioned on, on uh, driving business. Um, so, we have actually started uh, using Facebook and Twitter as, as core um, platforms for driving business. Uh, some examples of products that we are driving are content platforms such as Vodafone uh, Music and uh, Sports, uh, International Roaming, uh, driving 3G uh, data plans. India is still a country which is on 2G and uh, 3G. Um, you know, so, so the data plans, um, driving prepaid, because we are a market which sells a lot of uh, prepaid connections. Uh, so what we also do is we use Facebook for custom audiences. Um, we use uh, Twitter for things like, you know, we, we have just used an initiative called uh, Twitter, Am uh, sorry, um, I'll just skip this, uh, Twitter Amplify. Um, where, you know, it's, a, it's basically a concept of uh, social TV and we take the content from television and use Twitter Amplify to amplify that content uh, and it's, it's brought to the consumer from, uh, from a certain Vodafone product whichever has a fit over there. Um, of course, measuring ROI is the next challenge over there, and we still have to move to that stage. Uh, but currently, we are in a place where you know it's not necessary that a product has to be communicated in the other platforms, in the other elements of the media mix. There are a lot of products which are only being communicated now, uh, you know, through through our social media platforms. All right. And um, what's next for you, right? Where do you see uh, Vodafone Zuzu's your work on social going immediately over the next, let's say, three to four months, and over the next year? if you were to divide that into two timelines? Um, so I think I would put it as a bit of plans and wishful thinking right now, but something that we're really beginning to put our energies uh, behind. Um, I would say, so that they're, they're actually in three areas. Uh, one is driving business itself. So a lot of sharp targeting, identifying segments, identifying the right audience, uh, identifying them through, you know, profiling them through their interests, et cetera, and, and, uh, and targeting the right products to consumers. So driving business and sharpening our efforts towards, um, towards segmenting consumers and targeting the right product to the right consumer is one big area of focus. Um, the second area is using digital for an end-to-end 360-degree -end marketing effort. We are attempting to do that with one of the new products that have been launched called Vodafone Red. Uh, so India is a market which is, you know, used to selling a lot of plans. This is a comprehensive product with a lot of features and benefits. Uh, it's more like selling a concept. And we are taking digital to actually drive the entire end-to-end -end customer journey uh, for this product, you know, right from creating awareness and uh, impact to driving consideration and education, uh, driving adoption, and finally reaching a point where we'll be able to answer his queries uh, through, you know, having an online customer service kind of uh, kind of an offer. Uh, so, a 360-degree marketing plan is our is going to be something that you know we are hoping to be able to achieve. And the third would be. Again, India is a country where, you know, a lot of activations and consumer engagement activities are done through on-ground initiatives. We now plan to have, take on consumer engagement through activation to a level where it's fronted through digital. So digital is the core of actually delivering a large activation program for the consumer. Outstanding. And we're yeah. perfectly on time. So thank you very much, Ronita. Um, great to have you here in Hong Kong. And thank you, yeah. everyone. Right? Thank you. Thank you.